hi hello welcome back to another video if you're new here then my name is Sean uh, and today I thought with it getting closer to autumn what better to do than do an autumn makeup look so uh, let's get straight into it and as always I hope you enjoy so for primer I'm going to be using the Jekka Black glow drops which I got in my July glossy box I think um, these are great they're highlighting you only need a little bit of them and I always use too much so I'm just going to dot this on my face so I have to ignore this guy here as well it doesn't actually look that bad but it feels horrendous I don't know how or why I have this spot and then pat the pat it in like this this stuff's great actually I actually wore this yesterday with nothing on top um, and I've also worn it, we went out on Saturday night and I had um, my NYX primer on then a foundation and I just used this as a highlighter um, and that worked really well too but I do like it under my makeup and then we're going to take a damp beauty blender and for foundation I'm going to be using the FM Blur Effect foundation you may have seen my review about this um, it's really good, it's a, it is a tad dark but I mean it's fine it can we can sort that out with um concealer so again just gonna dab it around on that horrible spot probably should have concealed that first but it's okay love the smell of it, it smells so good it's raining outside what better to do than come on and film myself Playing with makeup. I enjoy it. This is the sponge actually that I got in this month's glossy box as well. I did say I'd use it for Mingin because um, I've used it before this video. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. And give it a good pat in. I love it over the top of the the highlighting primer so nice it's really good primer as well but when I run out of that I'm buying it again and I didn't buy that when I got that in my, my glossy box but I will be back like repurchasing it okay so for concealer a new one so this is the body shop concealer and this is in fresh nude um, and I love this because it's like such like full coverage that you really don't need a lot can't even remember Rimmel I think it was wake me up I was using the wake me up one which I love and I would go back to that but that was a lot more yellow toned than this um I do I do like that one but yeah this is a nice alternative I think they were about the same price as well but this one just seems more full coverage a thicker formula you may have noticed as well I put a bit of concealer around my nose and around my mouth just helps I've got really bad smile lines when I've got makeup on they're like so prominent and I find that really helps so just rub it all in now do I want to contour today or do I want to bronze yeah that's the contour going with our contour stick I've not used this in a while um mainly because that's literally all that's left there's nothing left in it well there is so this is number three this is in dark and I think this was Rimmel I got this a long time ago definitely shouldn't still be using it but this must be at least two years old so I really shouldn't be using it on my skin but here we are go out in spots my own fault in it really they look like well not for me anyway it would have been it's mad to think that like two or three years ago I would have makeup on like every single day like I wouldn't even go to the shop without wearing makeup and I did enjoy doing it but then it does become when you ain't it that much it becomes a little bit of a chore and you just feel like you need it on and then I would go out with it without makeup on and people would say oh you look ill are you okay 
and then you think it's going to wear makeup again. But now I, I very rarely wear it and I enjoy doing it more when I do wear it. I mean I do it for videos and things but like like say Saturday we went out I really took a lot of pleasure in doing my makeup because I don't do it that often anymore. Uh, I don't have the time anymore. I'm a mum now uh, so that's why I don't have the time anymore. I used to go to college um, before I had Ada, my little girl, um, and I would get up at like half past four in the morning to do my makeup, to leave at six. It's just stupid. Very stupid. Bronzer all over. Got us contouring and bronzing. Remember number three. It's the easiest way to remember it. Started then using just a pencil. I've gone back to my shadow because I just feel more comfortable with it. So it's a Steve Laurent palette and it is the dark colour here. So I'm going to use my mirror and I'm just going to start halfway up and just outline the shape. Um, if you've seen my other videos you would have heard me say not to start right from the front because you want your uh, eyebrows to look as natural as possible and your eyebrows aren't like really thick and dark all the way across so you want to fade it in and then when I've got less product on my brush I'll start to go forward and I actually push the hairs back like that and then I'm taking there's a lighter brown just next to it this one here so I'm going to take that and literally just a tiny bit tap that off and then just use it for the front of my brow. Looks a bit crazy just having one on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually go off camera and do my other one. So I'll be back. I am back. And then I'm going to go in with my Pixie Natural Brow Duo and just go in with the, um, the gel. I've actually decided when this runs out, I'm going to just get a clear gel because... I don't know, I'm not really rating the brown gel. I think you've got to be really careful with it and I'm not very careful with it. So I think the clear one would um, be more shan friendly. So let's go over, just as you usually would. Get fluffy eyebrows, because apparently that's what the world wants you to have. Fluffy eyebrows. Here we go. Okay, so let's get in with some actual colour now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got two palettes, so I'm going to stick with two palettes. So we've got, we've got the Profusion Mixed Metal palette. This has got 99 matte and metallic shades in it. It's a massive mirror, so I'm trying to cover this mirror. But I think I might have shown you this before. I love the colours. And then I've also got the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, you'll have to excuse the mess of this palette because I've used a lot of my mirror even fell out of it but it still does the job it still works so so the first shade let's go in with the shade polite so it's this first shade here in the mixed metal palette and take it all over the lid I'm taking it right up to the brow bone so the look I have in mind today is quite a full obviously it's quite a full look it's me even my if I said it was subtle it would still be a full glam over the top look but I really don't care because if you're gonna wear makeup do it properly fun there was like a, a phase maybe it still is a thing of people doing their makeup so like they didn't wear so they didn't have makeup on. And 
I did try it but I didn't get it because I'm gonna go all the effort of doing my makeup I want people to notice it can't be the only one that is all over not that you can really see on camera it's a, it is a very light color the color next to that is honest so this one oh there you go did you see yourself there it is and with this we're gonna go over again this is darker so you'll see this shade hopefully and just back and forwards and I'm just going up to my crease I'm not going up to my brow bone with this color and I'm taking it underneath too I'm actually going to college again in September hopefully depending what happens with lockdown I think um, Aberdeen is actually off lockdown now but I don't know if we'll end up going back in to lockdown um, but um, yeah I'm meant to be at college in September to do beauty therapy and I'm honestly so excited I've done I've done a few courses actually I've done animal care at college and then I did music and then I did film and TV um, and I didn't finish my film and TV because well I finished the first year then went to do my second year and I, I was pregnant and it was just too much because um, I had a, a horrendous pregnancy with morning sickness and pain and things so ended up dropping out um, because it's like I would get the bus through and it was like nearly two hours on a bus there and then two hours back so it was just too much too much of a long day for me uh, so I'm going back in September to do beauty therapy and I'm absolutely buzzing for it because what I love okay so then we're gonna go in with the Anastasia palette and there's a color burnt orange this one here here and I'm just gonna go over where I've just put that um what was it called honest the honest color in the hope that it will sort of deepen it and darken it and again right into my crease so if you're doing a smoky look then you want to have a darker color in your crease and try not to poke out your eyes because that's what I did and it's not nice so the same here so that is Sienna one of my favourite ones it's even darker so all you're doing when it comes to makeup I'm just turning my brightness down a bit so you can actually see this a bit better when it comes to makeup you're better to start light and build up because if you start dark obviously you're not going to be able to get rid of it as easy or all sorry uh, change it as easily um so always my shadow foundation contour whatever you're doing don't put too much on put a little on and build up okay so i'm giving you a tip putting that up to my crease and then once the product becomes less i'm actually going to just start smoking it towards my brow bone and it really smoke really good if you've got blue eyes um oranges really make blue eyes pop with any eye colour but blue blue eyes look good with this mulberry so this is like a deep red this is my favourite one in the palette like I absolutely love I would buy this palette again just for the mulberry shade I don't know if you can just under the eye and in the crease again and then I'm actually the same here which is my jumper The weather really suits us look look actually because it is absolutely minging outside it's raining dead heavy it's windy just horrible you probably hear the wind actually it's minging i'm not a winter person at all or autumn i'm a summer spring summer person i hate it I absolutely hate it when it goes dark early i hate it when it's dark in the morning some people just absolutely thrive in the winter and the autumn but not me I like Christmas and that's it. I hate Halloween. <laughs> so let's be brave. I'm just deciding which black to use. I use the one out of the Anastasia palette. Super pig on. Oh. I'm 
once you've tapped it in that's when you can blend you can actually use two brushes um you can use one for put, like tapping it on and one for blend and it'll blend it all together but i'm just going to use the same one because i don't know that's what i always do see the difference because this has just got dark it's just in that corner And then I'm just going to clean my brush off super quickly. This is where your second brush would come in. So clean that off and then just really lightly buff it. Blend it in and buff it out. All the shades because I don't know which one we're going to go for. Let's go for this one. Right, so the shade we're going to go for is Awake. So it's this shade here. I'm going to tap it on into the middle. You can use and just blend it, and then in the um, Anastasia palette, there's two shades that we're using. There's glistening and there's sultry. So I'm just taking a bit of glistening and a bit of sultry, and I'm just going to put that over the top. Just pat it on. Beneath the lash line. Oh. really need to start doing my foundation after my makeup I really should know better um, and then let's go in with the colour Ellis this is this light colour down here at the bottom with our finger my nose bit on my cupid but I like this to start highlighting just a bit here makes such a good highlighter Celine Hyper Precise liner I have the Huda Beauty one and it's so good because it doesn't come off but that's also why I really don't like it because um, I actually I don't know if this is TMI or not but I was trying to get it off a couple of weeks ago and I actually ripped the skin off of my eye that's how hard I was trying to get it off I mean it's great it is great when they say it doesn't come off I mean they mean it it doesn't come off unless you rip your skin off so Uh, it's a duo so there's a pencil liner on here too it's obviously the liquid liner um, yeah it's good it's really nice it's easy to apply and stuff but it's just it's a pain in the bum because it just doesn't come off so I'd wear it if I was going on like a night out or something or like an all day thing um, because yeah it, it won't come off so I'm just going to go in and do my liner so on the bottom, because then um, I can let my lashes dry whilst I do these. Just put some dual glue on the lashes. And the lashes I'm using are Ardell Faux Mink number. Glue actually came with these lashes. That's why it's so small. But I hate the like normal glue that you get with lashes. Because it's actually like... It's good. It's too good. <laughs> it hurts my lids. So I'm just going to leave them to dry for a sec. And then for lips in Vogue pencil. Just do a little cross here. Beauty Demi Matte in Shakia. I think it's, it smells really nice. It smells like coconut. It smells like coconut oil. But the only thing I really don't like about it, it says Demi Matte. I wish it was just like a matte and it just got like stayed on all day, but it doesn't. As soon as you drink or eat or do anything, it comes straight off. I give Ava, my little girl, a kiss on the head the other day and she had a big 
purple splodge on her head. Okay, so let's put a bit of mascara. Um, I've just put a little bit more of, let me see the shade colour, Awake, so this shade here, I've just put a little bit more on the top and on my lower um, lash line and yeah I'm really happy with them. I hope you enjoyed, as always remember to give me a big like if you enjoyed it, subscribe um, and yeah go follow me over on Instagram, I will leave all the details and links and things down below and remember to check out my business page to catch on my next video. See you later, have a great day and bye!